what's up y'all you know i'm sitting in my room thinking out loud and so i'm gonna respond um so the brilliant be ye not confused the brilliant um loretta ross uh one of the founders founding thinkers of reproductive justice former um, executive director of sister song brilliant author writer thinker black feminist uh, has a piece out in the New York Times uh, called I'm a Black Feminist and I think call-out culture is toxic. Um, and I think Loretta, you know, is right in a lot of ways. Uh, and I've had this conversation many times um, and right now I'm having it again with myself as I sit in my, my room in New Zealand. And, you know, Loretta's basic premise is that call-out culture is counterproductive. Um, that as, you know, in movements for social justice, that the intention, hopefully, is that we get to a more equitable and just world, right? Um, and that uh, call-out culture is counterproductive to that. And I, on its foundation, agree with that premise. I think that Loretta is accurate. I do think that uh, call-out culture is not necessarily um, how we, uh, is not the most strategic tool towards um, personal change, eh, let me not say that, systemic change on a large level. I do think call-outs absolutely can facilitate personal change. Obviously, um, they're uncomfortable, but I don't think that they are um, completely useless. Here is where I think our challenge lies, is that we don't... Um, we don't create distinction around the reasons why we are communicating. And so one of the things that I've been thinking about a lot, right, is the difference between call-in culture, call-out culture, and what I have been calling call-on culture, right? Um, uh, and so call-out culture, the, for me, the intention of calling someone out, the purpose of that communication is not necessarily for their betterment. Not always. Um, Oftentimes, I'm communicating because I need to express that I've been harmed by a thing, um, that I need to let a person who has harmed me know that they've harmed me. Um, and I'm not actually there in that communication to facilitate their change. Um, I may want their change or I may not. I might not be thinking about their change at all. Right then, I might be thinking about the fact that you did a thing that hurt. When I say, ouch, because you stepped on my foot, I am not interested in, you know, like stopping you from stepping on foot forevermore. I'm interested in you getting the fuck off my foot in that moment, right? And so um, call out, I often see as the possibility of saying, ouch, loudly enough that someone can hear it and hopefully get off your foot in that moment. Um, call in culture, um, for me, assumes a level of responsibility toward the education of the person. If I'm calling someone in, it's probably because I have an investment in their change. I have an investment in the ways in which they will move through the world. And my calling in is me saying, I am down to extend intimate engagement with you for the purpose of seeing you operate in a different way in the world, right? And for me, that's a function of relationship. Uh, I'm not interested in giving that level of investment to everybody in the world. Um, I'm not an inexhaustible fount of uh, compassion, um, particularly in a world of oppression. And so I'm reserved personally with who it is I engage in um, calling in because I recognize that it takes emotional, energetic and intellectual labor to call a person in. Um, and so what I've been thinking about and talking about is the idea of calling on. I might call on you to be a better human being. I might call on you to shift your perspective for the purpose because your perspective is counter to the just, equitable, and compassionate world it is I'm trying to bring about through my work. And I can call on you to be better without having to hold your hand through it, which is a call in, or without cussing you the fuck out, which is a call out, <laughs> a clap back or whatever. I can, I can state to you that you need to do better because what you're doing is harmful in the world. Those, and I think we don't do enough of the calling on each other, 
right? Because calling on each other actually isn't about my positionality in the experience. Calling on each other is about centering the person's behavior as a behavior that needs to change in order for us to get to the world we say we want to live in. Um, and so I think that all three of those live in the kaleidoscope of human communication that we all need. I think right now we're a little too far over here on the, you know, on the call out, cuss out side because it doesn't get us where we want to be. Um, you know, but sometimes it's necessary. But again, as a long term strategy, I don't think it is the most successful. Um, I think falling all the way over to calling in really asks uh, the most marginalized and harmed people to continue to do a tremendous amount of labor, um, oftentimes for other people. But when I call on someone, I'm actually giving the responsibility of education, of information, of learning, of perspective change to that person. I'm not taking it on. I'm also not saying I don't care if you learn. Um, I'm saying I am calling on you to do the work to be a better person. And I think that that gives us both the short term goal um, of mitigating, you know, acknowledging that a harm has happened and the long term goal of systemic change through, um, through perspective shift and then structural change. So that's my thoughts. Y'all follow uh, Loretta Ross. She's brilliant.